Right, hi there, guys. Good morning, Sean Mack here again from chatammo.com. I'll just put the phone on as well. Uh, what I'd like to talk to you a little bit about today is about funnel hacking. But what we're going to be doing is funnel hacking with a slight difference, right? Um, now, the difference is going to be I'm going to show you how to go out and actually find successful funnels. Now, as we talked about before, funnel hacking isn't the be all and end all of everything, right? Funnel hacking will work for every single business, but I know a lot of people have actually had problems trying to find the correct funnels to actually go out and hack, which is a huge problem. So what I thought I would do is I thought I would go through and actually take you into how we go out and we find funnels that's working um, so that we can mimic them. So we already know what the advertising's right for it. Um, so all we need to do is basically go out and mimic that particular funnel so that we can then get the success that these people are having. So let's share my screen. I was trying to get this all um, going all complicated and nice and whatnot, but it didn't work today. Uh, so if anybody's got any questions, please jump in and ask us any questions that you might have. Um, this isn't very complicated, very, very simple, this one. Um, but it is a great way of finding things. Now, I've already mentioned JVZoo and things like this of where you can go out and find your funnels. Um, and JVZoo is, it's an awesome way to go out and find them. However, there are other ways, right? So this is a particular funnel hacking strategy, which is based on competitive research. Right now, what we want to do is we want to go out and we want to find obviously successful sales funnels for us to go out and model because it's pointless us trying to try everything from scratch when somebody's already went out, spent their money, and they've already got a successful funnel. We just need to mimic that particular funnel, and then we've got going to have success. It's it's simple, easy way to do it. So on the internet, you've got everything that you're ever going to need to know about your competitors, right? Literally every single thing. Now, before the internet was out there and before it got really popular, this was like massively difficult. I mean, a lot of people were spending an awful lot of money trying to get these things. Um, now that the internet's actually out there, we can reverse engineer absolutely everything. There is nothing that we can't go out, find, reverse engineer, and then know exactly what we have in place. So, this is always the best way to start. Don't know why I've got a Y in there. Um, just seems to be one of these things on my spelling. Um, so first, what we're going to do is we're going to start building swipe files. And these swipe files are going to be the main inspiration behind all of your funnels. Now, these swipe files... Hi, Robert. Um, these swipe files are your gods, right? You can find you can find ads that are working. You can find the swipe files. And then you can build the complete swipe files around it. Now, this is something that we do quite often. We store all of our swipe files around the likes of Evergreen. And then it means we can go back and no matter what it is that we're going to market that particular day, week, month, then we can go back and we can see all the swipe files, we can see what other people's done, what other people's had success with. And so then we can mimic and improve on that. So we want to start with, when we're looking for ads, start with Facebook, right? Really, really simple way to do. And what we want to do is we actually want to see social proof, right? So if we go on to Facebook here, what I'll do is I'll just refresh it nice and quickly. Uh, it's going to home. I think I'm on the group. <coughs> oh, pardon me. So go in here and refresh it. Go to the homepage. And there is going to be some ads in here, no doubt. Right? So the Fletcher method. Right? Not very much um, social proof on there. Keep on going down, 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 down. Right? Getting eight social proof. I want a bit higher than that, to be honest with you. Uh, eight... But um, so we'll keep on going down here until we find something. Right, so 106. Right, so we've got 106 people here who's like this. Some people's got angry with them. Some people's got upset with them in some way or another. But the first thing I'll do is, firstly, I would snap this particular Facebook ad. This is not the best one to actually do because it's Google, so I know it's going to be really broad. But then the next thing we'll do is we're going to click on here on the little three dots, and we're going to click on why am I seeing this ad, right? This is going to give you everything that you need to actually go out and mimic their ads, right? So right now, Google's only targeted us really, really broadly. Uh, 21 to 64-year-olds, um, primary location is United Kingdom. Not the best example we could have used. Um, now, what we're going to do is actually, when we get this all going, is we're going to start triangulating the particular ads, right? Um, so we're going to start going into the ads and find out the exact different ways for where's all the decent ads at? Normally, whenever you want, not want ads, there's thousands of them. Whenever you do want ads, they're never there, right? Uh, 202, right? Let's see if that one's any better. This one's obviously not very well targeted because I don't have an awful lot to do with mini series. So why am I seeing this ad? 
Right, so I'm similar to the customers. So they put up a user list that they've already got. Um, I communicate in English or USA English. I'm over 23 year old and I've got a primary location, right? So the targeting down there and what they're actually doing is they're layering the targeting, right? So once we've found out why we're being targeted, let's have a look what the landing page looks like. So we're gonna click on the landing page. So it's built with click funnels. And once we get into click funnels, I don't understand why click funnels suddenly got this. And now we can see what the landing page is like, right? Pretty awesome. Um, so once we've got the landing page, we can now download their mini books. So what the name and address. So we can take snapshots of every single aspect of this as we're going through, right? So no doubt if I was to go and let's just do it, it'd be easier. So first name, Sean. All right. Let's go in here. So we'll submit that. Now, what I want to do as well is I now want to track what emails they send to me. All right. So now I should probably have an email from them. Um, we've also got this one, four ways to sell your ad course from no ad spend, right? It's supposed to be $497 down to $999. Now, if I was going out and I want to hack this particular thing, I would then go and buy this, right? But I would take a snapshot of this entirety right now. One of the things I would do is take a snapshot is this right here, which is go full page. Um, you click on go full page <clears throat> and it's going to snapshot that entire website, right? So the entire page that it's on. So now we have our snapshot. Now we can actually build out something very, very similar. We're only going for the same look. So it's got a black header there. It's got two columns. Um, the special writing's in red. The button's in red. This weird blue background thing. Um, we'll look at the package boxes. We'll look at all of these different items because now we've got all of this information. And if we're going to hack this, then we'll obviously click the buy now button. Right. So continuing onwards. Um. So basically, social proof, that's what we're looking for when we're looking for the ads, means it's got a good ROI. It means that unless somebody is some kind of idiot and they're just running ads for no profit, then we're, they're getting a ROI. They're getting a return on their investment. So that's what we're looking for firstly. So firstly, I always go through the ads. I see who's getting good interactions in it. It's normally Russell Brunson. I must admit his target is excellent. He does the three method as well. I'm going to show you where we're combining three audiences all together and then getting the crossovers. Um, that's in a later date inside of the special membership, which we still have on special at the moment. And these are the perfect inspiration, right? As soon as we see that social, as soon as we see that social proof, that is all the inspiration that we need, right? Now, we're going to follow the links. We're going to do what the opt-ins. We're going to find out what their OTOs are. So what's their upsells? What's their downsells? What's the downloads? What's the pricing? What do they send us through to the emails? All of these are all little tiny things that we need to know about, about this particular um, funnel. Now, what we're going to do as well is obviously we're going to add on chat ammo, which then gives us an extra an extra set of opens. Um, so we're going to get 70% higher open rate than what these people do. Um, I wouldn't have actually run the ad like that. I would have run it to a chatbot. Didn't want to run it on Facebook. So I've got it cheaper. Um, but this is the sort of thing that we want to go in and we want to research everything that's in there because if we're researching it and we have the entire experience of seeing the ad all the way down the funnel, we've also then got all of their emails. So I could go into my emails. I think it was this one I set up. Uh, which is, nope, it's not there. So that's not very good. So, um, I would then go in, I would see all of their various different emails and I would store all their emails, emails into that file as well. So I would know everything is all there, all together and jobs are good. And, right. So we'll then sign up the email sequence, see what they're doing. Um, ba -ba -bom, and next, are they retargeting you? Now I expect, because I've been on their website, an absolute stack of retargeting coming towards me. Right? There should be a load of targeting coming. And with any luck, I'm going to get all that targeting. I'm going to be able to reuse the targeting. And it's going to be cool because then I'm going to know exactly what they're doing. So quick run through. Uh, this one I've done yesterday. So there was loads of interactions. Uh, it was 1.9 thousand interactions. All done. Again, was click the little button. And it gave me my various different interests. So I was interested in social media marketing, um, marketing strategy, um, communicating English. And um, the age group was 18 or older, not exactly the most put down age group in the world, but that's the age group there. Um, next, we want landing pages. And that gives us everything that we need to know. So once you combine this with the various other, um, the various other stuff. So this one right here, this is going to be the cheat sheet that we're going to have. So we'll go through funnel hacking as the original. 
Then we're going to go through design hacking so we can copy their design exactly so we know exactly what fonts they're using, what space they're using, so we can get ours looking as much like theirs as possible. And then, obviously, this video goes in there last, right? So, probably have to watch it in reverse order, to be perfectly honest with you. So, that's it, guys. Really, really easy, really simple. Possibly one of the simplest ways to go out and actually start going out there and finding the correct funnels, right? So, there's obviously JVZoo, there's going into Google, they're seeing how much people spend ads on Google. But all of these are all giving you funnels that are going to work. And as soon as we start adding on the back end of chat ammo and getting that full automation on the go, we know we're going to have a lot more success. Okay, so thanks for watching and speak soon. Cheers.